massive. Got a bit of stuff. Hey, we got a bit of stuff, eh? Yeah, not too much, no, really. Ooh. Just a little bit of stuff. Good morning. First ice fishing trip of the year. Gonna dust off all these cobwebs and see if everything still works and still here. Oh man, I can't wait to get out there. What do you think? Both buddy heaters, it's gonna be about minus 20 in the morning, so we'll probably, yeah. probably need both of those and definitely one. Yeah. I think maybe just throw a tent in the back seat. Yeah, we can put stuff on top of it. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get packed up. First ice fishing trip of the year. This is the earliest we've ever been out for ice fishing. So, mainly looking for early whites, but... Okay guys, slowing me down, slowing me down. Get out of our way, we're trying to go ice fishing. That's what I thought. <laughs> should, be, should be pretty fun. We've never been to this lake before. This is our first time up there. We were here in last year. We were like mid to late December, and then we heard about this really great place to go early December. So we heard about it too late in the season. So this trip has been on the calendar for a year. So this is the right lake. We just looked way, I don't know, you can't see through the, there it is. See way out there? Yeah, those are all uh, tents. We found the first way onto the lake. There's one guy there. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of tents a little bit further south. So that's probably the whitefish hotspot. Try not to hit the ditch, eh? I'll try. <laughs> um, not again. Not again. We talked to a couple people, and they both said that they didn't catch anything, which is not a great sign, but just got to try it. There was some blood on the lake where somebody had caught it either this morning or uh, last night sometime, so it looked pretty fresh. So someone caught fish. Hopefully we catch some tomorrow morning. I always find that I'm a little bit stressed out when it's this time of day and you're like not in a spot where you can hunt the grouse because right now they'll all pop out of the trees and they'll be pretty visible. A lot of them will be up in trees feeding on the buds and that sort of thing. So this is a good, looks like a good place to be, right time of day. Just add grouse and we'll be happy. <laughs> Looking up in these trees, just seeing you just normally you just see their silhouette um, 
most of the gross shape in the tree. That's why we hate um, wasp nests because they, it's like you see a big clump in the tree, you stop, you slam on your brakes, you're looking at it, and it turns out to be a bloody wasp nest. <laughs> and you're like, no, and then you shoot it anyway. Got one! Woo! We're trying to get another one. <laughs> Another one, number three for the day. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's enough birds for a grouse steer. Oh, just spotted a couple of grouse. They're pretty far back. We're gonna try and make a stop on them. And it's looking cold. Just can't find them. What? <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, he dropped like right here. <laughs> yeah, he dropped like I'm standing right up. Nice. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's the So uh, we went ice fishing. How do you know when an ice fishing trip turns into a grouse hunt? <laughs> Just a couple birds. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, that last light, last 45 minutes of the day and all the grouse come popping out of the bush. Holy moly, there's quite a few up here. So yeah, some good meals ahead. Now let's, uh, let's pull them apart. Yeah, let's Woo. light them up. It's only it's minus 20 and windy but other than that it's warm <laughs> i'm freezing but we got five grouse so we're good day one that's a wrap we had a look at the lake we're just scouting the lake for tomorrow Try to figure out where we're going to set up in the morning. We're going to be out in the dark, ready to go for sunrise because that's when the white fish should be coming in pretty hard. So lucky, I had 45 minutes at the end of the day, drove the area, got to know the area a little bit more, and crossed the path uh, with about I guess, five grouse. Looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how we do. If um, the bite is on, then we'll probably just focus all the time that we have tomorrow on fishing and but we also have the option that you know let's fish the morning and maybe go out and drive some roads again and get into some grouse so 